Hello everyone, welcome back to the second video in our series of videos about Hostorella and some of its capabilities. On this video, we shall be discussing the cPanel, which all of our users will have or acquire once they subscribe to the platform. So what is a cPanel, you may ask. A cPanel is more or less your back office. This is a place where you manage most of the aspects of your web hosting and emails. So it is in your best interest to learn about some of its functionalities so that in the event you need to access your cPanel and, for example, create new emails or upload websites or spin up a website or just generally learn more about some of the general information about your particular hosting package and you're able to access the cPanel without much difficulty. So as you can see on your screen, this is a typical cPanel. Um, there are some new features that may be added on by cPanel. cPanel is the company that actually creates the technology and offers that to the general marketplace. People like myself who then use their dashboards to host websites or sell websites or email functionalities to their client. So this is a standard uh, cPanel dashboard here on your far left. You have some of the quick reference tabs here under the heading and then in the middle you have some of the main tools that you'll be using throughout the course of your uh, usage on our platform so you can choose to minimize some of these tabs i generally leave them open it's just easy i'm just used to doing things that way uh, you can also move different sections up and down and then customize this to your own preferences and then on your far left, you have some general information, quick reference information, things about your, your particular hosting plan, your domain name, your IP address, uh, other statistics relating to your file usage, disk usage, bandwidth, etc. So you're able to access a lot of these uh, functionalities or features here. Okay, so for now, let's just discuss some of the more detailed functionalities of the cPanels. And I think a lot of our focus will be in the different in tool sections. A lot of these functions, many of you may not use, but I shall just highlight some of the ones that are most commonly used. <clears throat> so at least you know how to navigate when it comes time for you to access the cPanel and access some of these features. So at the very top there, this is a new feature that was uh introduced by cpanel this is a quick site builder it's called site jet builder similar to other content management systems like wordpress you can easily spin up a website and use some of the free templates there should you choose to extend the functionality you can uh, subscribe to the paid uh, templates as well so this is a new one and uh, i think with a lot of these site builders now you're able to uh, spin up and deploy websites uh, immediately. So this is a good or uh, welcome uh, integration here. Um, the next phase or the next tab here is your email section. This is very important. This is where you manage all your emails, all your email forwarding, your routing, your mailing list, etc. I think the section that a lot of you will be accessing is this particular section here, which is the email account section so if you click on that as you can see i've created a number of accounts already you can delete accounts for example info at site-png.com i can delete that like so and then i can then choose to create new accounts as well so see Vagalia. you can generate emails so in include your own email or your passwords here. So I'll just use the gener uh, the ones that the system generates for me and I can create some Siva Gale. And as you can see, it's created my uh, email account here. So then your email is live. You can choose to then access the email via webmail here. You can even manage the emails and you can connect it to your devices such as your phones or your laptops, etc. So that's basically what the process is for setting up an email. The next section here is your file section. This is where most of your 
website data is contained. This is where you manage all the files. This includes all your programming, um, all your assets. When I say assets, I mean images, audio, all of those things are saved here within this particular uh, section here. Then you have database section. This more or less is your database. It contains um, information pertaining to the back end of your websites, your user credentials, usernames, login credentials, etc. So this is where most of these functions are saved. Uh, later on in the next video, we shall delve a little more detailed into a lot of these functionalities so you understand exactly what I mean by the backend and some of the database functionalities. Of course, there's a domain section here where you're able to manage your domain names. A lot of our, a number of our packages have uh, allow you to create multiple domains. So you're able to manage that in this section here. You're also able to manage a zone editor and allow for domains, emails to be managed by third party services like Office 365 or Google Suite. So it will integrate some of those third party or our cPanel accounts into third party uh, software, allowing you to then access your emails via, for example, the uh, Google Suite, Office 365, etc. So you can configure all of that in here as well. Then you have other matrix information pertaining to the website, some of your security functionalities here as well. Uh, one of the bigger ones here is your SSL status. You're able to access this and understand the status of your SSLs certificates. This is very important. And then you have a software section here. So this is mainly for programmers with knowledge in things like Node.js and other programming languages like Perl, etc. They are able to access this and start deploying different codes and scripts here and deploy them on the websites as well. And then finally at the bottom there, you have some of the popular scripts. Scripts are just uh, programs that you are able to run immediately. So for example, one of the more popular ones is WordPress. So you can click on the WordPress here and then it'll um, run the whole installation program. And at the end of it all, you are able to create a WordPress website by just clicking on this script. It's all very straightforward and you don't need any coding knowledge to be able to uh, develop a WordPress website here. So in a nutshell, these are some of the main functionalities later on in the next couple of series we'll go into more detail we'll probably set up a wordpress website also set up the emails uh, we'll also uh, ensure that our ssl certificate is set up correctly and if it's not we will also demonstrate how to run that whole process and ensure that it is updated and then uh, we'll probably go in and do a backup of our files whether it's in WordPress or within cPanel itself using uh, Jet backup services here that allow you allows you to backup your whole website. So we recommend that you know most of your websites be updated. You're also able to set the uh, schedules for your backups as well. So you it runs automatically without your involvement. So these are some of the functionalities of the cPanel, very high level stuff. But as we progress with a lot of the videos to follow we get into greater detail but i believe this video is basically or mainly for newbies those of you who have no experience with cpanel um, and hopefully when you do get the chance when you subscribe to our platform then you will have a better understanding of what the cpanel is where different things are its functionalities and how to use it most importantly so thank you all very much and uh, stay tuned for our next video